the original house, the ground floor of which you can see now, was built for John Menzies in 1693. Camo House was a prime example of the transitional period of architecture from the Scott Tower House to Classicism. In 1710, Sir John Clark of Pennycook purchased the estate and house, making great improvements to the garden, although it would appear that he made a little alteration to the house. He lived there with his wife and many children. The estate was sold by Sir John Clark in 1724 and became residence of Mr. Hope and his family. The only alteration which Mr. Hope seems to have been responsible for is the canal which can still be seen near the house. During Watson ownership, 1741-1873, a water tower and a large stable block were built, as well as a big L-shaped extension at the rear of the house. The lodge house, also known as a farmhouse, was built in 1789 along the East Gate and two acres of walled gardens. The stable block and water tower remains are much more substantial in comparison to what remains of Camo House today. In 1898, Mrs. Margaret Louise Maitland Tennant purchased Camo for herself and her husband David Bennett Clark. The estate remained her and her son's residence until 1975. Margaret divorced her husband in 1909 and she dismissed the most of the staff she continued to live at the property. After her divorce, the property to tenants and went on a world tour with her two sons. In 1921, she received news that her ex-husband died in his home in England. Later in 1940, Margaret and her son Percy left the house to her 20 or so dogs and moved to the what is now former Wolf farmhouse, located on the right-hand side of the East Gate. The clubhouse became known as the Camo Lodge. The farmers who rented it took a great care of it as Margaret did not spend money on any of those properties, allowing them both to deteriorate. They were very reclusive. In 1946, the family moved back to the main house and the building became vacant until around 1953, when it was converted into a dairy farm. Margaret died in 1955, and being over 90 years old, she had lived through the best of Victorian era, the dramatic industrialization of 20th century, and both world wars. In the same year, after his mother's death, Percy moved back to the farmhouse and he was looked after by the farmers Mr. and Mrs. Little. Percy outlived his mother by 20 years. After his death in 1975, the Camo estate was bequeathed to National Trust of Scotland. During 1977, Vandals torched the house twice. Therefore, it was considered unsafe, and a conservation plan was drawn up in order to preserve the original ground floor of the house, demolishing the upper floors and later alterations, leaving what remains today. Visitors and local users value the informal and natural character of the site where they can spot wildlife and experience changes in the seasons 
and regards the park as somewhat of a refuge.